What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be replacing my beeper switch. I dropped my control the other day and the little toggle piece just kind of snapped right off. So I ordered a replacement from Amazon and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So the first thing we got to do is take the battery out. If you have a module on here, take that off. Battery. I'm gonna protect the sticks by putting these little foam bumpers on here. So now with the battery out, battery cover off, and this out, we can take out the four screws holding in this back plate. We have one here, 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 and here. And it's just a Phillips head. All right, so now with all the screws out, this back cover should just lift up. Like I said, be careful of these pins because those are pretty fragile. Now we have access to our switch. So all of these switches are different. This is my arm switch. We have all these other switches up here. Most, I think all of these have, yeah. These are all three position switches. This is a two position switch. And the one that I'm replacing is the beeper switch. So for this one, it doesn't, stay in place it's just kind of it's a momentary switch i'll leave a link to this in the description so that's this one right here so the first thing i gotta do is take off this little screw cap right here because that's holding on the actual switch for these little uh, covers i actually have a little tool that goes around and can screw unscrew these pretty easily i'll leave a link to these in the description as well i got these on amazon i think they were like 10 bucks Take this off and now switch and come right out. So when I'm removing this, I'm just going to take note of where the wires are and how this switch is sitting in the controller. So it's sitting like that take the new switch and this actually has the same exact design on it so I know that this little logo on the side right there is facing that direction so the switch is gonna be sitting like this we're gonna have the red wire on the very top prong right here and we're gonna have the black wire in the middle So now I'm just going to snip these wires. There we go. And I can still use this as reference because I can see the different colors on the wire. So just to make sure that I'm doing it the right way, I can compare it right like that. And I know the red one goes on top, black one goes in the middle. So I'm not using these right here. All right, so I'm gonna get my soldering iron on and we will connect those wires. All right, soldering iron is on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on the new switch. So like I said, we're just using this top one and the middle one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of solder on there to get it ready for the wires. get the controller back up here all right those look pretty good I'm gonna go get some heat shrink put it around here and then we'll get some solder on here all right, so we got the heat shrink on the wires I'm gonna do the black one first, that goes on the middle pin.
Now we'll do the red one. Slide the heat shrink over the connections. We'll heat that up. We should be good to go. There we go. It should be all set. So now I'm going to bring it underneath this wire because that's how it originally was. it up a little just to keep the wires nice and clean slide it right like that Hold it in place, put this on there. There we go. If you do this, just make sure that the wires don't interfere with the gimbal. This looks pretty good, so I'm gonna put the back cover back on. Again, be cautious of these pins, because if you crush those and you're using an R9M module or any module, you'll probably have to replace those pins or replace this board. There we go, all done. Now we just gotta test and make sure it works. All right, so to test this out, I'm just gonna test it on my Tiny Hawk. I could also, you could also test it through uh, beta flight and just make sure you're getting uh, movement from the slider that's mapped with this switch. I'm just gonna do this because this is a lot quicker. So when I switch this, my Tiny Hawk should start beeping. Perfect. It works. So if this video helped you out, please subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of videos like this. If something goes wrong with my equipment, I'll probably film uh, whatever the procedure is to fixing it. But I will leave a link to this in the description. I'll leave a link to these little red caps in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.